Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about additional insulin functions that go beyond just lowering blood sugars. Most people know about insulin as the hormone that lowers their blood sugar, but it does a lot more. Number two, it stores the sugar in the liver and the muscles as something called glycogen, which is basically just molecules of glucose strung together in a chain. Okay. Number three, insulin converts sugar into cholesterol. If you have high cholesterol, chances are it's because your sugar is too high. Number four, it converts sugar into triglycerides. Okay, those are blood fats. Number five, it makes fat, especially in your middle part right here, the belly. In fact, it is the most powerful fat-making hormone, and it dominates all other hormones. So if you're trying to stimulate the fat-burning hormones, all it takes is a little bit of insulin to nullify that and put everything into storage as fat. Number six, it prevents the fat burning. So not only will it make, make you fat, it prevents the loss of that fat, and that's why you're not gonna lose weight if the insulin is too high. Number seven, it feeds the cell fuel. Number eight, it stops something called autophagy. In the other videos I talked about autophagy, which is the recycling of cell protein. So if you have damaged cell parts, your body can actually take that and recycle it into new cells. It's a great way to slow down the aging process and uh, it's amazing, but in the presence of insulin, you're not gonna get autophagy, okay? You have to do intermittent fasting to do that. Number nine, it absorbs potassium, zinc, and magnesium, very important. So if you have a problem with insulin, like an insulin resistance, you're not gonna absorb these minerals and a few others as well. Number 10, it makes protein like muscle, hair, and things like that. Now, this might be confusing because in a diabetic situation, they have too much insulin, so why are they having a loss of muscle protein and a loss of collagen and joint tissue? Well, when we talk about insulin making protein, we're talking about a normal amount of insulin. With diabetes, where you have high levels of insulin, it's ineffective because you have insulin resistance. So we need a normal amount of insulin to be able to build our muscle tissue and our proteins, but we don't need excessive amounts. And when you have insulin resistance, because you're consuming too many of the wrong foods or you're triggering too much insulin, you create insulin resistance and now you can't absorb the protein. Okay, so we want a normal amount of insulin. And that goes with number 11 as well, artery tone. You need normal insulin to have the right tone in your arteries so you don't have too much or not enough. And again, too much insulin will cause hypertension. And that's because insulin is there in large amounts, but it's not being effective. So the, really the person doesn't get the benefit of insulin that's too high in the body. So I hope this sheds some more light on what insulin is. And now you have an expanded viewpoint that goes way beyond just the lowering of blood sugars. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're interested in finding out the underlying cause of your body issues, click the link below and take the evaluation quiz.